Right, you guys, gonna have a Windows repair video here for you. Now, if you're running into this error message here, then this video is for you. Now, you're gonna see Windows is gonna attempt to repair this error by using the automatic repair, and you'll probably see that it doesn't work. And this is pretty common with Windows. It will always try to do this automatic repair, and sometimes it's unsuccessful, and you get caught in this reboot loop where you constantly reboot and you'll get the same error message. Now, if you are getting that error message, then watch this video and I'll show you how you can possibly fix it. Now, this is where you're going to get to automatic repair. You can click restart here or advanced options and continue to boot to Windows 10, which we're going to do here. And it will attempt to reboot. And then what's going to happen, you're just going to get straight back to that error message. And that's because it hasn't fixed their issue. And the error message is uh, zero xc 21 a and it's a pretty common error message and I'll show you how to try to resolve it. So let me skip this part out here and go back into advanced options here. So once we're in advanced options, we're going to go into troubleshoot, then advanced options again. Now you can see we have reset this PC. We only use that unless we really have to if we can't fix it. We have got command prompt and some other things left on the screen like system restore which you can attempt but we're going to try command prompt now i want to make sure that i'm on my windows uh, drive here so i'm just going to type c colon and then dir to make sure that windows is on my directory you can see it's not there so we're not in the right place so i'm going to type d colon now and this is normally the case it's normally on d so we're just going to push dir and then we can see where our Windows directory there. So we're good to go now. So the first thing we're going to try here is a long command, which is the dism forward slash image colon C colon backslash forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash revert pending actions. Now you'll notice the C there, which I'm typing up and I change it to a D and that's because mine is D. But if yours is C, you need to type C. OK, so it's either C or D. You need to check that. So make sure you type the right letter, otherwise it won't work. Now, once you've done that, you can type the rest in. And it does take a bit of time to type this in because it's not a normal common uh, type uh, command you're typing in. There's lots of backslashes and forward slashes and it can be quite confusing. So take your time, make sure you type it in properly. And I will try and leave these in the description of the video for you so you can just copy and paste them in if you want to. And we're going to try enter. Now this is pretty useful if you've had an update go wrong or something like that. You can try to revert uh, back. Okay, and you can see it's trying to do its thing here. And you can see now it says operation complete. Revert of pending actions will be attempted after the reboot. So now you can reboot your system and make sure that you have got that drive letter. You see, I've used D because I was on the D drive. Uh, but if yours is C, then make sure you keep that C in there and not D. Now you can reboot your system by typing exit and then reboot to see if that fixes or resolves your issue. If it don't, then come back into here and uh, go back into troubleshoot. OK, now we're not going to use reset this PC yet, but you can see You've got go back to a previous version. If you've had an update, you can use that method or system restore. You've already tried the startup repair and uh, we will try uh, startup settings and we'll try that a little bit later on. But what we're going to do here is going to go straight back into command prompt because there's a couple of more uh, commands we can try to try to fix our issue. So again, what we want to do here is go back into our D drive. And uh, we're going to make sure that we are there because I don't want to waste my time. And now we're going to try check disk uh, space forward slash F space forward slash R and try to fix any errors on the drive just in case. And we'll run this and it will say, do you want to dismount the drive? I'm going to say yes, so we can run these uh, checks. Now that's going to take a bit of time to run guys, so be patient. And uh, I'm going to try and speed this process up for you so it doesn't bore you too much. But just let that run through. And uh, again, if depends on the size of your drive, 
and how fast your PC is and how long that's going to take. Okay. Next, we're going to try SFC space forward slash scan now. Now this fixes a lot of issues. So we're going to try running this and let it uh, verify all the files on our operating system. It's going to take a while, so be patient. Now we're going to try this other command. Now this other command is a pretty good one. It's dism forward slash online forward slash cleanup dash image forward slash restore health. You can use this one as well if you're still unsuccessful. Now in between here guys you can try to reboot the system each time. That's what I'd advise you to do rather than do what I'm doing here. I'm just doing it for speed. But if you're still having issues go back into advanced options here and you can now go into startup settings. Now inside here when you click restart it's going to give you a couple of options that you can choose uh, to try and fix or resolve your issue. Now the ones we're looking at here is safe mode with uh, networking and also disabled driver signature enforcement. Try the disabled driver signature enforcement and reboot your system. Um, if you've installed any software or anything like that, then you can use uh, safe mode with networking and remove that software and try to reboot. Um, or you, what you can do is back up all your data uh, from safe mode and then reboot the system and do a re uh, refresh your PC or reset your PC from there. Okay, and that should fix the issue if you've tried just about everything I've talked about here. So we're going to try and get into safe mode here. And as you can see, it is starting to boot to the logon screen. And you can see here we are now in safe mode. So that's a good sign that we've got to safe mode. Now I'm going to quickly restart and go back to uh, my main boot screen so I can go straight to the desktop to see if it will get there and see if those uh, commands have fixed the issue. So we'll just let this boot up. It may take a bit of time. We'll just let that run. And there we are, got to the login screen where we never got to before. We got the blue screen of death. And uh, as you can see here, it looks pretty good. It looks like those uh, commands have fixed our issue. And there we are, straight back at the desktop. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out, guys. That's how you can resolve that error message. It can be a bit pesky and can be a bit of a nightmare, blue screens, but uh, if you're... If you stick with it and take your time, you should be back up and running in no time. And if all else fails, you can always reset the PC. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.